Yehovah Svaot Elohim, Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. Please fill me and lead me and cover me and stir me with your Ruach Kodesh, that I may speak your written words with boldness to those who listen. I ask all these things in Yeshua HaMashiach's name. Amen. We'll start with the Shema. Listen and obey. Children of Yehovah, pay careful attention and respond. Yehovah is our power and authority. Yehovah works in unity with himself. And you shall act upon your love to Yehovah with your power and authority, with your thoughts and mind, with your entire body, with all the muchness that you have. Yod, hey, vav, hey. Hand, behold, nail, behold. First Kings chapter 6. It was in the 480th year after the people of Israel had left the land of Egypt in the fourth year of Shlomo's reign over Israel in the month of Ziv, which is the second month that he began to build the house of Yehovah. The house which King Shlomo built for Yehovah was 105 feet long, 35 feet wide, 52 and a half feet high. The hole fronting the temple of the house was 35 feet long, the same as the width of the house itself, so that its 17 and a half foot width extended frontward from the house. The windows he made of the ho- for the house were wide on the inside and narrow on the outside. Against the wall of the house, he built an annex all the way around. It went all the way around the walls of the house, including both the temple and the sanctuary. The lowest floor of the annex was eight and three quarters feet wide. The middle floor, ten and a half feet wide, and the third floor, twelve and a quarter feet wide. For he had made the outer part of the wall of the house step-shaped, so that the beams of the annex would would not have to be attached to the house walls. For the house, when under construction, was built of stone prepared at the quarry, so that no hammer, chisel, or iron tool of any kind was heard in the house while it was being built. The entrance to the lowest floor was on the south side of the house. A spiral staircase went up to the middle floor and on the, to the third. So he built the house, and after finishing it, He put its roof on, cedar planks over the beams. Each floor of the annex surrounding the house was eight and three quarters feet high and was attached to the house with beams of cedar. Then this word of Yehovah came to Shlomo concerning this house which you are building. If you will live according to my regulations, follow my rulings and observe all my mitzvot and live by them, then I will establish with you my promise that I made to David your father, and I will live in it among the people of Israel, and I will not abandon my people Israel. So Shlomo finished building the house, the insides of the walls of the house he built with boards of cedar. From the floor of the house to the joints of the ceiling, he covered them on the inside with wood, and he covered the floor of the house with the boards of cypress. The 35-foot back portion of the house he built with boards of cedar from the floor to the joist and reserved this part of the house to be a sanctuary, the especially holy place, while the rest of the house that is the temple in front was 70 feet long. The cedar covering the house was carved with guards and open flowers, all with cedar. No stone was visible. In the inner part of the house, he set up the sanctuary, so the ark for the covenant of Yehovah could be placed there. This sanctuary was 35 feet long, wide and high. It was overlaid with pure gold. In front of it, he set an altar, which he covered with cedar. Shlomo overlaid the interior of the house with pure gold and had chains of gold placed before the sanctuary, which itself he overlaid with gold. The entire house he overlaid with gold until it was completely covered with it. He also overlaid the gold, the entire altar that belonged to the sanctuary. Inside the sanctuary, he made 
two corvim of olive wood, each seventeen and a half feet high. Each of the two wings of one of the corvim was eight and three quarters feet long, so that the distance from the end of one wing to the end of the other was seventeen feet. Both corvim were identical in shape and size. The height of the one kuruv was seventeen and a half feet, likewise that of the other. He set the kuruvim in the inner house. The wings of the kuruvim were stretched out, so that the wing of the one touched the one wall, and the wing of the other kuruv touched the other wall. Their wings touched each other in the middle of the house. He overlaid the kuruvim with gold all around the walls of the house, both inside the sanctuary and outside it. He carved figures of kuruvim palm trees, and open flowers. He overlaid the floor of the house with gold, both inside of the sanctuary and outside it. For the, sanctu- for the entrance of the sanctuary, he made doors of olive wood set within five-sided door frame. On the two olive wood doors, he carved figures of curvium palm trees and open flowers. He overlaid the doors with gold, face forcing the gold into the shapes of the curvium and palm trees as well. For the entrance to the temple, he also made doorposts of olive wood, set within a rectangular doorframe, and two doors of cypress wood, the two leaves of the one door were folding, as were the two leaves of the other. On them, he carved curvim, palm trees, and open flowers, overlaying them with gold fitters to be carved work. He built the inner courtyard with three rows of cut stone and a row of cedar beams, the foundation of the house of Yehovah was laid in the fourth year, in the month of Zev, in the eleventh year, in the month of Bull, which is the eighth month. All parts of the house were completely completed exactly as designed. Thus, he was seven years building it. How can we learn to love our Creator after reading this awesome chapter 6 of First Kings? We can trust that Yehovah is a master craftsman, architect creator, mathematician, builder, and mason, and so much more. Trust that you have all used a man to build a home here on earth for you have all to dwell with his chosen children. Know that you have all enjoyed silence in his house. Know that you have all spoke again to King Shlomo, saying, If you will live according to my regulations, follow my rulings, and observe all my mitzvot and live by them, then... I will establish with you my promise to live among the people of Israel. Know that the house was built with wood covered in gold. Located in the especially holy place was the Ark of the Covenant of Yehovah. Know that two kuravim of olive wood overlaid with gold, wings touching each other as well as both walls. All was made exactly as designed, taking seven years to complete. How can we love others as Yeshua loves us? We can encourage others to trust that Yehovah will use obedient children to work for him. Bear one another's burdens. We can listen and do what Yehovah commands found in his word. Produce spiritual fruit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, humility, and self-control. We'll end with the Arianic blessing using the name. Yehovah will kneel before you presenting gifts. And he will guard you with the hedge of protection. Yehovah will illuminate the wholeness of his being toward you, bringing order. And he will provide you with love, sustenance, and friendship. Yehovah will lift up the wholeness of his being and look upon you and will set in place all you need to be whole and complete.